Hey, good afternoon. My name is Adam with Farm Life Outfitters, and uh, today I'd like to show you how to make a simple hand pump for your well. Stay with me. All right, so a couple of uh, things that you have to have. Uh, one is you have to have a well that has one pipe going down to a submersible pump. Another thing that you have to have for it to work is the uh, water level down in the well has to be higher than 50 feet for this to work. This, this style pump will work down to about 50 to 60 feet. Yesterday I came over and I um, measured this one. So I took a string with a weight on the end and I tied the weight to it and I dropped it down until I hit water and then pulled the string back out and I've got about, I think it was 35 feet down to the water. Now you got to uh, install the foot valve onto the end of the pipe. I don't need to cut this off. <clears throat> All right, so this is a an inch and a quarter foot valve. It's got a little check valve inside of there and the way it works uh, inside of there is a little plunger and when you pull up on the rod it pulls that plunger up and then when you push down on the rod it forces it closed so water can't go back down into the well.
So the way this works is we have a, an inch and a quarter PVC pipe with a foot valve on the end, which is a check valve. And then on the inside of that, we put a three quarter PVC pipe, which will go down inside the inch and a quarter pipe. And then once you get it all installed, the way it works is you, you pull up on this and it opens up the check valve down here at the bottom. And then when you push back down, it displaces the water, which forces the water up this pipe and out the top. All right, so now I gotta work on this old well cap. Gotta replace that well seal with this one that has two holes. One for the hand pump and one for the original motorized pump or electric pump that's already there. Missed that one, didn't we? What else? You gotta put these other ones in there too? Mm -hmm. Let it go, we don't we lose it all. <laughs> <laughs> 
Can you see my saw is over there on? Mm -hmm. All right. Can I hold something for you? pipe doesn't fall. <laughs> that one. Oh. That's what's holding the pump up that I didn't put in. Can you hold this again? Mm -hmm.
So I just keep these little plugs. Keep the pump sealed off when I'm not using it. There's one in the top and there's one in, or one in the top and one in the uh, side. I just love this kind of stuff. Like this hand pump. No matter what happens, like if we lose power or you know we have a big storm or whatever, if, if our pipes burst under the house and it's gonna be a while for water, I can just come over here with a bucket and fill a bucket up and take it back to the house. And even for this one, since it's uphill, I could uh, pump it into a tank right here below it and then pipe it downhill to wherever I want it. So there's, there's tons of options.